Hey, what's up? My name is Katie Lee, and I'm going to be doing questions that you should be asking on college tours and on college visits. I know things obviously look very different this year with COVID going on. My heart goes out to all of the rising seniors trying to apply, apply to college. But luckily, there are a lot of resources virtually, and I do, would definitely recommend meeting with the counselor and asking some of these questions. A uh, counselor, obviously, at that university that you're interested in. By no means am I recommending that you ask all of these questions, especially not at one person. You don't want to annoy anyone out from admitting you, but I think this just kind of covers a lot of aspects of college life that could be really important. Personally, I'm someone who either has a million questions or I might like visit a college and not really be a fan of it and have zero. So if you ever have college tour people like really trying to get you to ask something, get more involved, then these are just some ideas. Anyway, let's jump right into it. So classes. Are there any required classes that all students must take as a freshman or within their four years? And is there any type of core curriculum? Is there a foreign language requirement? Are there pre professional programs? Do any of them have a guaranteed dual degree program into medical law, dentistry school, etc.? For example, like a BSMD program. What type of yearly academic schedule does the school use? And is there a phys ed requirement? Next, similar to classes are questions more toward academics. Are there free tutoring resources for students on campus? Are there posted office hours for all professors and other teachers in that field? And are they required to have a certain amount of office hours per week? What is the average class size of a general 101, typically freshman level class? And then what is the size of upperclassmen uh, level classes once you get more specialized into classes towards your major? Finally, how long do you have to declare a major and is it easy to switch majors while at the university? Can you switch between different schools if you're in the school of business and realize you want to do biology? Is it easy to switch into that school? Are they flexible with that? I know some schools, they might hold you back a year if you decide within your freshman year you want to switch your major, they might actually make you do a fifth year or some schools only let you switch your major once. Which is kind of crazy. So if you're not someone who's 100% certain on what they want to do, it's definitely good to make sure the school is very flexible with that. Next is opportunities. I put this as opportunities, but I don't really know if that's the best word choice, scholarship, financial aid, etc. So do they offer merit scholarships? What kinds? Can you stack them? And then are there scholarships you need to apply to as incoming freshmen or do they automatically review you for all the scholarships they have? And then can you apply or receive scholarships within the university during your four years? What is the percent of shown financial need actually met? More and more schools now are meeting 100% of all financial needs shown. And there's also a lot of schools now that are completely need blind, meaning that when they consider your application, they don't look at how much financial aid you might need. So definitely, if you're someone who's planning on filing your FAFSA and applying for financial aid, which everyone should do, you might be surprised, then it's definitely good to get all the information on that. Then what type of opportunities are there in terms of research grants, internships, co-ops, all of that? What are the amount of freshmen that get internships? What are the amount of freshmen who get involved in research? Can research or can freshmen conduct their own research? Or is it just mainly assisting the professor? How hands-on is it? Do they take AP or dual enrollment college credits? Any credits that you racked up during your high school years? And then can you use those to test out of any courses or are they just counted as credit hours? Then finally, study abroad programs for opportunities. Do they have them at all? Where are they in the world? Uh, could you continue your major and continue all the classes and credits you need while studying abroad? Are, does the university that you're looking at have other campuses in different parts of the world? Is it their actual campus and their actual professors or no? And then finally, what is the cost of study abroad? Is it normal tuition rate or are you paying more? Next is transportation and navigation. So is there any free public transportation on campus? Are there buses coming and going from any major cities or college towns nearby? Then what times do the buses run? What times do trains run? Are there trains? That type of thing. And can you bring a car as, as a freshman? And also can you park your car? I know that like in the Pittsburgh, Boston areas, it can be around $800 to park your car for a semester. And I don't think anyone would bring a car to New York City, but I can't even imagine what that would be like. So if you're thinking about bringing a car, definitely look at cost because I was really, really surprised with how expensive it is. What a lot of colleges also have now are 
free campus taxi Uber services, so ask if they offer that, and then how many free rides do you get per semester? A lot of them are like if you're within, you know, a three mile radius of the university, you can get a ride that will pick you up and bring you where you need to go on campus. Sometimes it's only for emergency and safety resources. Sometimes it's like just whenever. I know some people like if they're at dance practice and their dorm is half a mile away on campus, they can just call one every night, which is really nice. So ask if they offer that. And then finally, the size of campus. How long does it take to walk from one side of the campus to the other? And then what do you do during bad weather? Is the campus somewhere up north where there is snow and rain and how do they manage that? Next is room and dorm life. Is housing required? Is it even guaranteed all four years? And if it is not guaranteed, is it pretty easy to get housing if you still want to live in a dorm? What are the different dorm living options during your freshman year and then after your freshman year? Because usually freshman year is more like double and that's it, but then there are more options. And then also, is there like apartment living? Is there single dorms available? When can you get these? Are there communal bathrooms? Are you required to use a communal bathroom as a freshman? Are there communal kitchens for all of the halls and on different floors that everyone has access to? Those type of questions. Next is food. What are the different dining halls on campus? Is there a grocery store nearby that you can easily get to on public transportation? Can you buy groceries using a meal plan or any of your meal swipes? Uh, a lot of colleges have like college cash. Can you use any of those? Is your fridge and microwave provided within your dorm or do you need to bring that yourself? Do they have a service that can do that? And can you use any like plug-in stovetops, conventional ovens, panini presses, anything like that? And then are there kitchens and dorms after your freshman year? Actually, one of my friends as a freshman, she did get a kitchen in her dorm, which is so cool. So ask if you can get that, you know, within the next three years. And if you're super lucky, maybe you can get it as a freshman. And finally, are they accommodating for any type of allergies or dietary restrictions you may have? Okay, so next, I call it amenities. I feel like that's not the right word, but just going to go with it. So are you able to print pages for free? If so, how many pages can you print for free per semester? And then how much does a page cost individually? What is the price to do laundry? And finally, is there some type of IT on campus or somewhere where you can bring your computer to for free if it breaks or if there's something wrong with it? Next is just kind of social life and activities. So just, this is obviously personal to everyone. Are there the same activities and clubs that you liked in high school at that campus? sports, music, dance, clubs, anything like that. And obviously look at kind of the rigor and level. Would you want to play D1 and do they offer that? Uh, how serious of training and dance would you want to do and do they offer that or is it more recreational? What is the diversity breakdown of the university? Are there clubs or celebrations of people with different cultures and ethnicities, languages, etc.? I know personally, I wanted to take Cantonese. Unfortunately, my university did not offer that, but they do have a Cantonese club where anyone who speaks Cantonese, probably anyone, honestly, can just kind of come and learn about the language and the culture, which is pretty cool. So they have things like that on there. And then finally, is there, maybe this is more location, but whatever, is there like a college town or any popular hangout spots nearby that you can get to on foot or on a quick bus ride? And then finally, I don't think this really applies to everyone, but just gonna say it, health related things such as is there mental health counseling available are there services that you can get weekly or every other week if you need them and how much do they cost uh what type of insurance plans do they take and would they take yours and if you don't have insurance or it's a burden for your family to pay for it, is how does that work and then finally which i think is something that a lot of people will need is is there a pharmacy on campus to fill your prescriptions or pick up any over-the-counter medicine or is there one nearby within walking distance? So yeah, those were all of my questions that I think are really important ones. Again, don't throw these all at one person, but also you shouldn't be scared to make appointments with counselors at a university you're interested in ask. And also more for like dorm social life. There are a lot of students who are more than likely super, super like open to helping you. I know at a lot of schools, you can make appointments with counselors, but you can also make appointments with students and they just kind of talk to you about what their life is like on campus which i think is pretty cool and that was definitely something that i used a lot so luckily there are some resources and i think if you're in an interview again it's 
up to you, it's up to how comfortable you are with the interviewer. Usually if they're a student, it's a little like more relaxed, but you can ask some of these questions. I would maybe be careful just because you might annoy the person again out of admitting you and you don't want to do that. But anyway, that's it. If this was helpful, please let me know. If there are questions that you think are important that I missed or things that definitely should be asked, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.